The Global Gender Gap Report was first published in 2006 by the World Economic Forum. The 2017 report covers 144 major and emerging economies. The Global Gender Gap Index is an index designed to measure gender equality. Methodology The report's Gender Gap Index ranks countries according to calculated gender gap between women and men in four key areas – health, education, economy and politics to gauge the state of gender equality in a country. The report measures women's disadvantage compared to men, and is not strictly a measure of equality. Gender imbalances to the advantage of women do not affect the score. So, for example, the indicator, "...number of years of a female head of state last 50 years over male value", would score 1 if the number of years was 25, but would still score 1 if the number of years was 50. Due to this methodology, gender gaps that favor women over men are reported as equality and would not cause deficits of equality in other areas to become less visible in the score, excepted for life expectancy. The three highest ranking countries have closed over 84% of their gender gaps, while the lowest ranking country has closed only a little over 50% of its gender gap. It "...assesses countries on how well they are dividing their resources and opportunities among their male and female populations, regardless of the overall levels of these resources and opportunities." The report says by providing a comprehensible framework for assessing and comparing global gender gaps and by revealing those countries that are role models in dividing these resources equitably between women and men, the report serves as a catalyst for greater awareness as well as greater exchange between policymakers. The report examines four overall areas of inequality between men and women in 130 economies around the globe, over 93% of the world's population Economic participation and opportunity, outcomes on salaries, participation levels and access to high-skilled employment Educational attainment, outcomes on access to basic and higher level education Political empowerment, outcomes on representation in decision-making structures Health and survival, outcomes on life expectancy and sex ratio. In this case parity is not assumed, there are assumed to be fewer female births than male 944 female for every 1,000 males, and men are assumed to die younger. Provided that women live at least 6% longer than men, parity is assumed. But if it is less than 6%, it counts as a gender gap. 13 out of the 14 variables used to create the index are from publicly available, hard data indicators from international organizations, such as the International Labour Organization, the United Nations Development Programme, and the World Health Organization. <laughs> Upper limiting value of the gender gap index Gender gap index, 4.0, 4 equals 1.0 This is the upper limiting value of the gender gap index superior for the female to male ratio and for the male to female ratio. <laughs> WEF Global Gender Gap Index Rankings The highest possible score is 1.0 equality or better for women, except for lifespan 106% or better for women and gender parity at birth 94.4% or better for women and the lowest possible score is zero. Data for some countries are unavailable. Controversies <inaudible> 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 There are controversies around credibility of the index, stemmed mostly from misunderstandings. On 2014, for example, JTBC News Channel in South Korea described the reason why South Korea had such a low rank. According to the news, some of the raw data used to calculate the index do not reflect the country's unique situation accurately, and that partially accounts for their rank. 
This conclusion is, while not entirely wrong, somewhat misleading. Since the final index is calculated by weighted averages of 14 ratios, tweaking one or two ratios to be a little bit higher does not affect the result much. The index is designed to measure gender based gaps in access to resources and opportunities in countries rather than the actual levels of the available resources and opportunities in those countries. It is not necessarily true that highly developed countries should have higher scores. See also Gender empowerment measure Gender inequality index Gender-related development index Social institutions and gender index Female labor force in the Muslim world Gender pay gap Women's rights in 2014 Gender gap in STEM careers infographic equals equals notes